Hey guys. Wait. Okay. Whatever. 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 Hey guys, it's Marisha from Marisha's Couture Cakes. Hi, 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 hi. Happy spring. So today I've decided that we should do some pastel watercolor. Not pastel, but just like watercolor. Are they? They could be pastel. Yeah, they're pastel. All right, pastel watercolor roses, and we're gonna paint these. These are gonna be very, very simple. And once again, like I say in every video, very, very cute. So this is what you're gonna need. I'm going to use my egg carton to hold my paint colors. Cupcakes, of course. I have some fondant and I'm using Wilton's fondant today. It was in here. I took it out. And I'm also gonna be using these color dust colors. I have this in deep pink, spruce green, and red. I'm also gonna be using a little bit of vodka, a little vodka, vodka. You ever know somebody that says vodka? Yep. Hello. And of course they have color palettes for this exact purpose, but of course I don't have one. But I actually prefer this because it's way more fashionable. And that's what I'm all about. This has been in my family for at least a generation or so. And it's very, very handy dandy and trusty. And it's washed and sanitized most importantly. I'm going to use this really, really cute cookie cutter. It's actually the same size as my cupcake. The fondant has been drying for about an hour, so now I can get to painting. I'm going to dip a little bit in the vodka, and then in my red, I'm going to start by making just little swipes. So imagine just making little C's all over, kind of like the outline of petals. Oh my gosh, I can hear the birds right now. They smell so pretty. This is like the first bit of spring that I've experienced. Soft strokes using the very, very tip of your brush will allow you to have more control over the final product. So now let's dig into our pink and see how nice this one looks. You can just lightly fill in some of that white, but not all of it, just to give it a little bit of an accent. The white really defines the shape of the rose, so we don't want to cover the whole thing. And the paint is going to dry almost immediately. The vodka has evaporated off of it, just leaving behind that beautiful pigment and your beautiful artwork. Mommy, would you like to paint a cupcake? Huh? Would you like to paint a cupcake? Would you like to paint a cupcake? Would you like to paint a cupcake? Thank you. I was going to ask if you wanted to do, you know, one. It's very easy. They look great. Okay, so go for the vodka. Mm -hmm. My rose is crazy. It's not crazy. You've always drawn roses. That one's probably gonna look ten times better than mine. Doubt it. That looks like an old school rose. Oh. <laughs> No, it's like a, it's like I a think it looks like a crazy rose. No, it looks like a vintage rose, kind of. Thank you for joining. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having <laughs> me. 
Now that we've got these done, let's add them to our cupcakes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. You can also visit the fan page for updates and tips and tricks and stuff like that at facebook.com slash marishascatorcakes. And you can follow me on Instagram at marishascatorc. You can follow me to the moon. I'll be going to Saturn in a couple of months if you guys want to join me at marishascatorcakes. Couture in beautifully hand-painted watercolor rose cupcakes. Bye, guys. That moment when you just said that you've had this paintbrush in your family for like 15 years and then it breaks in three pieces. Rest in peace, brushy.